Hi everyone, welcome back, and if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Max Haddad, and today I'd like to tell you about what it was like to be in prison during Black History Month. <laughs> okay, so let's get out in the open first. How I happy Black History Month. Okay, I'm it's a good thing. The reason I'm saying that is because there's a lot of contention in prison during Black History Month. It's always a place where blacks and whites are bumping heads, unfortunately. That's just the way it is, but Black History Month is even worse. So I wanna make it clear to you that I am happy about it. <laughs> it's a, not the prison fighting, the Black History Month is good, okay? So that's, that's how I feel. Now, I didn't know going into prison how racially divided it was going to be. You hear that, you see on TV, every show where they're part of it's in prison, you see that there's people clicked up based on race and, and other things, but I assumed it was blown out of proportion. And it wasn't, <laughs> it, it definitely wasn't. There were pieces of it that didn't uh, look exactly how TV portrays them, but for the most part, people were clicked up by race. Now, some of that is just, you feel more comfortable. I don't wanna say you feel, most people feel more comfortable around people that are similar to them, similar background, similar job, similar family, you know, that sort of thing. So it doesn't have as much to do with skin color as it has to do with like, you know, what neighborhood did you come from? Are you from the city? Are you from the South? Are you from a trailer park? Are you from uh, a suburb? You know, like that sort of thing. So it, people were clicking up based on what they were comfortable with. And it just so happened that race was also part of that. Now, prisons were segregated for the most part most prisons were segregated until the 1960s hypothetically it's not totally certain but it seems to be that the aryan brotherhood the the number one white supremacy organization in the country uh originated in san quentin prison which is not a surprise to anybody it's one of the most notorious terrible prisons in the world uh, so the fact that people would decide to start murdering each other because they aren't the same skin color there doesn't shock anyone. <laughs> okay. So originally the Aryan Brotherhood, this is their claim, clicked up because they felt that they were being uh, subordinated by a, a black organization. There is almost no certainty at who came first chicken and egg regardless people were uh forcefully segregated by the prison system and then when they were smacked together after all that time apart they clicked up based on race of their own volition sucks it's gross but it's what happened fast forward i go to prison in 2016 or whatever it was naive little me i figured ah we're all people no big deal just be nice be respectful it's gonna be good and i will say a lot of times it was most of the time it was good but what sucked what broke my heart what broke the hearts of a lot of my fellow inmates was when stuff went down between a white guy and a black guy it became about race, whether it was or it wasn't. And you saw people fighting that had nothing to do with the original quarrel, fighting each other because that guy's black, that guy's white. Here's Black History Month. Black History Month shows up. Happy February. It is the month where I have to be careful where at least in the dorm that I was in, people of color were most ostentatious about hating 
white people, particularly those like were Aryan or Saxon Knights, another organization I've brought up before that is not totally like down with the blacks. They're just very much up with the whites. So that ostentatiousness, though well-earned and deserved, you should be proud of where you come from, not just your skin color, but the work that your parents had to put in to get you where you are, or just, or the pain that they went through, the struggle they went through to get you where you are, uh, America, that sort of thing. And obviously, I'm not going to go into it, but uh, some people had a more uh, uh, luxurious uh, uh, mm, journey to America than others. But regardless, it's good to be proud of where you are from, your ethnicity, your nationality, whatever. That's good. It doesn't have to be nationalistic, though, or ethnocentric. You don't have to hate other people for not being that way, but that is the case sometimes. What am I saying? There were plenty of people that kept their tact during February, but there were plenty of people that didn't. Now, I'm not blaming the victim here. This isn't me saying black people brought it on themselves for being uh, loudmouth during February. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the other 11 months of the year white guys got to be proud of being white got to be they flaunted it february the prison plays movies about martin luther king malcolm x all sorts of stuff where uh, movies just where the uh the protagonist happens to be african-american not even historically uh, relevant or, or factual it's just uh movies celebrating being black in america uh, even Black Panther, you know, like uh, it didn't have to be uh, a historical segment for us to get the opportunity to watch it. So not only were people having conversations about their origin that they wouldn't normally have, the prison was supporting that, which is good, like good. I'm glad that they felt that they were uh, the prison uh, warden and all that felt that they were in a position to empower young black men uh, to be proud. I think that's good. But boy, did it piss some white guys off. Uh, they were not happy that instead of watching Blades of Glory or some other Will Ferrell movie or whatever, they were their only option on the Saturday movie night was was Black Panther or, or was uh, Roots or so, you know what I mean? Like they weren't happy about that. Now the prison did try to be careful about what they played. Uh, I'm certain they didn't play Roots. That was a bad example, but they tried not to set it off. They tried not to increase the contentiousness between uh, racially different prisoners, but they also didn't uh, have to do much to get people upset. And it again, like, not their fault. There's so much stress and tension in prison uh, already. People are looking for an excuse to explode because it is one of the most predictable and effective ways to release all that stress in your shoulders. Even if it means you get your teeth knocked out and you go to segregation and you get six months added to your sentence, you at least can take a nap uh, and <laughs> have sweet dreams because you've gotten some of that cortisol out of your system. It's so bad <laughs> that that is how you think when you're there, but you do, you think, dude, I am ready to fight somebody. And I'm not even that way. And I was feeling that way. I was ready to hurt somebody to enjoy hurting them because God bless it. I can't relax. Like I need some way to relax. And you're just ready. You're ready for that one dude to say the wrong thing. And it doesn't have to be much. What I'm saying is Black History Month gave a lot of people, black and white, uh, mostly white, but black and white, the excuse to explode, to go into the bathroom off camera and fight some guys. You saw 
hate that you didn't see the other 11 months a year. And you saw a lot of hate, hate for pedophiles, hate for uh, rapists, hate for people based on their skin color, hate for people based on their stature, based on their tattoos, based on their uh, socioeconomic strata, based on all sorts of stuff. But during February, you saw hate and the glint of an Aryan's eye when he saw a black guy not affiliated with the gang celebrating his blackness. I come from uh, a mixed origin. Dad is Lebanese. Mother is French Scottish with a mwah, touch of Irish and have always been proud of both sides, right? I know a little bit more about my Lebanese origins than my mother's side, the, the white origins. Well, technically Lebanese people are white, but you know what I'm saying. But I've stayed out of racial debates because I just believe that I don't know. I just don't know enough. Uh, I barely know about my origin story, let alone anyone else's, plus their life experiences to lead them to feel some way about something. <laughs> so it was a, it was startling. I was going to say a wake up call, but it wasn't. I was, I was keyed up. I was ready for it to happen by the time February came around in my sentence, but it was nuts. You saw people making weapons that they, people that wouldn't normally carry weapons. You saw people getting bigger swastikas tattooed on them. Like I'll show them I'll scar myself for life with a hate symbol. Swastika originally was a, a Tibetan Buddhist symbol for sun S U N from what I remember odd, uh, reappropriated by Hitler. Um, and you saw, you saw black people rubbing it in white guys faces, white guys that had nothing to do with any sort of racial enmity. Uh, it being rubbed in my face. Um, you can't really rub it in my face because I'm like happy about it. But you know what I mean? Like, um, I think there was a lot of, uh, like, like a lot of the troublemakers that happened to be black in the dorm I was in, which was like the troublemaker dorm, uh, used Black History Month as well to get people to react. You know, like, I think this dude hates black people. I'm going to test him. And that was something that happened all year long. You test people, you know, like not everybody tested people, but it just means like, I'm going to see what they're capable of. I'm going to see, or put the cables on. I'm talking about jumper cables. Like I'm going to get them to blow up. I'm going to see if they want to fight me. I'm going to see how they really feel like testing people again, acting out because you're so stressed. Uh, but BHM became an excuse to put the cables on people too. Now, bigger than any of that hatred was the joy, was the pride, uh, was the aggregation of black and white people sitting together in a prison in America watching a movie about freedom. Irony, sure. Glorious existential beauty, more so seeing white and black brothers together, totally different walks of life, learning about other humans together and feeling mutual pride, both benefiting from learning this lesson, white men for different reasons than the black men, but both benefiting and caring about each other more for it. So beside this hatred in the dorm, there was this exalted love that also existed. <laughs> there is so much yin and yang in prison. It is hard to believe, but February boy, <laughs> there, it was in your face, the good and the evil that humanity is capable of. And that's not to blame anybody for their hatred or their skin color or anything. It's just people end up 
where and how they end up for a lot of reasons that are not their fault most of the time. But to see it was truly informative. I don't know how else to put it. It's one of the things that I will forever be grateful for. Something that you don't get to see when you just work a restaurant job, go home and watch Netflix. It's something that I wouldn't have seen had I not messed up so badly that I went to prison. I hope this video <laughs> gives you something today. Uh, if you care to leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. Happy Black History Month, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.